Hello, in this tutorial we're going to do a quick introduction to how to use Google Docs. So we're going to start at the Google Docs homepage, which is docs.google.com. And you need to sign in with your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you're going to need to take just a minute, click on the Get Started button down here, and create one. So we go ahead and log in. Okay, and on the screen you have a list of all your files in the middle. You'll notice I just have one so far. Uh, you can organize those files into different folders and different categories using some of the tools in the left bar here. If you want to create a new document, click on New. You can create a document, spreadsheet, presentation, or folder. If you click on Upload, you're able to upload a Word document, Excel file, or PowerPoint presentation that you already have on your computer. And then it gets added to Google Docs that makes it easier for sharing. And the other tools across the top bar here apply to files that you already have. So if you checked it, you could choose to share it with other people, move it to another folder, hide it, delete it, rename it and some other actions that include saving the documents as PDFs or Word files, uh, which can be useful. So I'm going to go ahead and click on New and choose Document. So here I have the new blank document, and you'll notice that it looks very similar to what you'd expect to see in Word or any other Word processor. And you can go ahead and start typing in there right away. And I'm not going to go through all the buttons, but uh, they're pretty familiar tools up here for editing your fonts and putting things together. Uh, in the menus, you have several options. On the file menu is where you can save your document, and it's saved automatically every 20 seconds anyway by Google Docs. And it saves to the Google Docs website, and so it's always available no matter what computer you're on. It's saving to their servers on the internet that you can access from anywhere. Now if you want to download it, you can go to File, Download As, and you can s choose to save it as a PDF document or a Word document that you could then have saved on your own computer and edit and do whatever else you need to do to it. Okay, you have typical copy, cut, paste kind of options under edit. Um, under insert, you can use uh, pictures, tables, and add objects like that. Under format, you can format your fonts and paragraphs. Uh, you have a table menu for managing tables within your documents. Um, tools such as your spell check, word count, things like that. And help if you need it. Now the real advantage to using Google Docs is the shareability and collaboration. So you'll notice that if you click on the share button there, you'll choose from a couple different options. Email as attachment is pretty straightforward. You can send it to somebody and it'll send it to them as a Word document or whatever sort of attachment you want. Publish as a web page is going to publish it on a site so that you can send people a link to read the document, but they won't be able to make changes. They will only be able to view it. So the thing I want to focus on here is the Share with Others button. Now on the Share Document page, uh, the way you invite people is to just simply type their email addresses into the box here. You can type as many as you want. And you can choose if you want to invite them as collaborators or as viewers. Collaborators can make edits and changes to your document. Viewers can only look at your document. Now, Under the advanced permissions below, you need to decide if you want your collaborators to be able to invite other people and if you want the invitations you send to be used by anyone or only the person you send them to. So if you're trying to restrict to only a specific number of people, then you should send the invitations just to them and uncheck those boxes. And then all you need to do is click on this Invite Collaborators button. If you want to, you can add a message um, and you can decide if you want to include yourself. And when you're done, you can click on this button to go back to editing the document.
Now when you're done editing your document, you just want to save it and close it out. You have a couple options. You'll notice that it automatically gives a name to your file. If you want to give it your own name, click on File and Rename, and you can call it whatever you'd like. And when you're done, you can click on Save and Close. That'll close your document browser window and save the changes that you made. And you'll notice it goes back to your folder page. Next thing that we'll look at is the revision history, which since you have multiple people editing documents in Google Docs, it helps you keep track of different versions of the documents and who's done what. So if you click on Tools and go to Revision History, and what you get is a list of all the changes that have happened to the document, each one of the revisions. And you'll notice that I have a bunch of revisions here that are have been done by me, and then I have a few revisions done by Linda Hayes. And on each one of these, I could click on it to see what the document looked like in that state of revision. So if you have lots of people editing, that's how you can go in and see who did who did what and what did the document look maybe the last time you looked at it or um, in the past.